So in this problem, we're asked to differentiate the function y equals 8x squared plus 2x plus 4 over the square root of x. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just rewrite our function. So y equals 8x squared plus 2x plus 4 over the square root of x. And so the first thing that we have to recognize is that the square root of x is x to the 1 half. So I'm going to rewrite that as that because it's going to make it easier to solve this problem. And so for this problem, what we're going to try and do is manipulate it in a way where we're going to be able to just solve it using uh, the power rule. So another thing that you have to know is if you have an exponent to a degree, or a variable to a degree, over the same variable to another degree, uh, this is equal to uh, x to the 2 over 1. So you just take the top degree, then subtract the, uh, the bottom degree, and that's going to be your new degree. So this is the same thing as x to the 1. So you got to know that in order to solve this. So let's do that here. So what we're going to do is take our 8x squared first, and then divide it by x to the 1 half. And we're going to use that rule we just talked about. So we want to do uh, x to the 2 minus 1 half. So if you rewrite it like this, this is 8x to the 2 minus 1 half. So this will become 8x to the 3 over 2. So let's start rewriting it. So 8x to the 3 over 2. All right, good. And then now we're going to do 2x. And so we got to subtract 1 half again. And so 2x is basically the same thing as 2x to the 1. So 2x to the 1, and then we minus our, the 1 half. So if we subtract 1 half, we'll get 2x to the 1 half. So that's going to be that term. So 2x to the 1 half, and then we have a 4. But you might notice that there's no x in front of the 4. So what you got to recognize is that uh, 4 is just the same thing as 4 times x to the 0, because x to the 0 is 1, and then 1 times 4 is 4. So just imagine it's 4x to the 0. And then we're going to subtract our minus 1 half from this exponent. So if we minus 1 half, we'll get uh, minus 1 half. So this is 4x to the minus 1 half. All right, cool. Now that we got this, all we got to do is differentiate it, and we can get our answer. So y prime, which is the derivative, is equal to the derivative of 8x to the 3 over 2. So the derivative of this is just 3 over 2 times 8, and then we subtract 1 from our 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 times 8. Well, 8 times 3 is 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. So 12 is going to be our coefficient times x. And then 3 over 2 minus 1 is 1 half. All right, nice. Now let's do the next um, number. So 2x to the 1 half, the derivative of that is we take the 1 half, multiply it by the 2. So that's just going to be x, or 1, but we don't need the 1. So just have x. And then we subtract 1 half minus 1, which is minus 1 half. And that's our new exponent. So minus 1 half. And then, so we're going to do the next one. So 4x to the minus 1 half. So what we do is multiply minus 1 half times 4, which is minus 2. And then what we want to do is x. And then we want to subtract 1 from our minus 1 half. So minus 1 half minus 1 is the same thing as minus 3 over 2. So that's what's going to be our new exponent. And so 12x to the 1 half plus x to the minus 1 half minus 2x to the minus 3 over 2 is going to be our answer to this problem.